In question four, we have to name the quadrilaterals whose diagonals bisect each other, are perpendicular bisectors of each other, and are equal. So let's start with the first part, the quadrilaterals which in which the diagonals bisect each other. So what are those quadrilaterals? Quadrilaterals in which the diagonals bisect each other. Well, those quadrilaterals are parallelograms because we know that whenever in a quadrilateral, if the diagonals bisect each other, the quadrilateral must be a parallelogram because the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other. And this means that specific kinds of parallelograms will also be quadrilaterals in which the diagonals bisect each other. For example, if you take rectangles, squares or rhombuses, these will all be quadrilaterals in which the diagonals will bisect each other. So the answer to the first part is the quadrilaterals in which the diagonals bisect each other are parallelograms, rectangles, I'm just writing the short forms, rectangles, squares, and rhombuses. So this is the answer for part one. Now in part two, we have to name the quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So if the diagonals are bisectors of each other, we know that the quadrilateral must be a parallelogram. But we want the diagonals to be perpendicular bisectors of each other. So in which kind of parallelograms are the diagonals perpendicular to each other? Well, in rhombuses, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. And because they also bisect each other, in any rhombus, the diagonals will be perpendicular bisectors of each other. So quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other are rhombuses. And there's a special type of rhombuses. What is that special type? Well, that special type is squares. So you take any square because any square is also a rhombus. A square will also be a quadrilateral in which the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So we can also add a square as the answer for part two. So this completes part two. Now in part three, we have to specify or name the quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are equal. So one class of quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are equal are rectangles. Rectangles are parallelograms in which the diagonals are equal to each other. So one of the answers for part three could be rectangles. And we also know that squares are special types of rectangles. So even in a square, even in any square, the diagonals will be equal. So we can also add squares to our answer. So rectangles and squares are examples of quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are equal. And in the NCRT textbook, these are the only two answers which are specified. But the thing is that you can also have other kinds of quadrilaterals in which the diagonals are equal. And let me show you an example of that. So let's draw a quadrilateral ABCD in which the diagonals AC and BD are equal, but ABCD is not a parallelogram. To do this, first draw a segment that represents the diagonal AC. So let's say that this is the diagonal AC. And now let's draw another segment BD that is equal to AC, but the two are not bisectors of each other. So let's say that we draw BD like this. So BD is equal to AC, but AC and BD, as we can see, they do not uh, bisect each other. And now let's take these four points, A, B, C, and D, and let's join these four points to complete the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So we have A, B, C, and D, like this. So we see that in A, B, C, D, the diagonals AC and BD, we have drawn them to be equal, and yet A, B, C, D is not a rectangle, it's not a square, it's not a parallelogram. So for part three, Part three, we could have other kinds of quadrilaterals apart from rectangles and squares in which the diagonals are equal. But the answer in the NCRT textbook is only rectangles and squares. But I just wanted you to be clear that we could have other kinds of quadrilaterals as well. So this completes part three. And with this, we have completed question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.